It was. We started the game defending very well. We just kept turning it over. I mean, we had 13 turnovers in the first half, and, you know, we're talked about that a lot because we had 20 when we played down at TCU, and you just can't beat a good team. But yet we're only down 10, turn it, and they shot 56%, but we, and we turned it over 13 times. So um, against a good team, you've got to really be tough defensively for 40 minutes to have a chance to win. And uh, like I told the guys, that's the kind of team we, we win the conference tournament you're going to see in the, in the NCAA tournament, so we know what we got to get better. Um, but a lot of, nothing, nothing to hang our heads about. A lot of good things. We, we competed and played hard to the very end, and we know that we got to get better. What were one of the biggest positives that you think your group can take away uh, from this tournament? Well, I, I just think we can. Re we have so much potential. You know, we have so much potential, and I and I think we've showed that we can do it on the defensive end at times. I thought coming into tonight, three of our uh, four halves were really good. Uh, started the game pretty good tonight. Had a good eight-minute burst of defense in the second half. Uh, on offense, again, I'm not I'm not overly concerned about offense. I think we're going to be able to score it against a physical team like this that takes stuff away from it. We got to learn uh, how to play off that a little better, but. Uh, Everybody, a lot, a lot of stuff to, to be happy about and a lot of stuff that we can look at and say, hey, we got to get better at this. The other point in that second half, which again was a point you brought up with your group, was a lot of teams would have lied down when you're down by 20 and that lead could balloon to 30 and it could even go even higher. Yeah. What it, again, I'm not saying take satisfaction from, but when you watch your team able to claw back, get it back within single digits, what did that tell you about your team? We had a lot of positive talk in the huddles too. You know, you're, even when you're down 15, 18, uh, the guys in the huddle still had a lot of positive talk. They were going to keep competing. They were going to keep fighting, and we did. You know, we got it back down there. We were in the basketball game a little bit more as we're at, at their place that, that would never get really got uh, less than 16 or 17. But uh, we hung in there, kept fighting, kept battling. Really proud uh, that they that we didn't just start clock watching and, and until the very end. We, we we kept playing hard, and I think we represented Indiana State pretty well. And being able to represent your represent Indiana State, of course, is ultimately the biggest thing that you do during this tournament. Why is it important that Jordan Barnes got recognized for the all-tournament team and just his efforts, not just, of course, in the previous two wins, but even tonight, especially carrying you there early? Well, he's very deserving. He's certainly one of the best players here. There's no doubt about it. And uh, the rest of us have to do a better job uh, helping him out, taking some of the offensive load off of there so he can help us even more on the defensive end because everybody attacks him at both ends of the floor to try to wear him down. Uh, he was terrific. Um, coming into this game, he thought he was really darn good in this game as well. Um, very good player. I'm glad he's on our team, that's for sure. And uh, no one more deserving of getting that uh, paddle there for the all-tournament team. I know there's probably more to figure out. It's already the 26th back home. Uh, just how you will handle the travel day tomorrow and kind of what the next couple days are like for you guys basketball. Well, you know, tomorrow's obviously a travel day. You got to get, I think we get back uh, into Terre Haute two, three in the morning or something like that. And then uh, that day will be all rest for everybody and probably uh, the next day as well. But uh, we have some time here. We have some time. I remember last time coming back from here, we had really difficult travel and then couldn't, uh, then we had to play like on the, 28th or 29th or 30th or something, but we don't play till January 2nd. We got to go right back on the road up there to the defending champ in Loyola, and uh, I think they're coming together. That's that's what trips like this do. It's the reason why we want to do it. It really helps with your chemistry. Ours has always been good because we have good guys, but stuff like this can can really bond you together. I'll end it to you on this because I know we got to go. It's go time now. It's Valley time. When you get back, just the excitement of now. This is not to say that these previous games didn't matter because they did, but it's ready to go. Um, you know, we didn't accomplish anything here. We didn't win the championship, but we got better. And I think we showed some of the kind of the potential that we can be as a team. And I, I love the guys. I think we have a really good group of guys. And we'll get back and get rested and, and keep getting better. And um, I just hope our fans, you know, enjoy the way we play. Hope they got to, a lot of them got to see us at home over the holidays and uh, they come see us in the home and center.